मयूर कैन यू स्टार्ट मीटिंग नाउ यस अक्षय गो ओके सो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल speaker role player and guest welcome to the 385 chapter meeting of toastmaster club of pune north west i am a toastmaster akshay bhapkar the sergeant at arm for today's meeting i am a software engineer by professional and my hobbies are playing chess and watching cricket matches so with this as we know uh, everyone has a mission and vision in their life in same way our club has a mission so now i will uh begin with our club introduction uh toastmaster club of pune north west provide supportive and positive learning experience in which member are empowered to develop communication and leadership skill resulting in a greater self confidence and personal growth so there are some rules before beginning meet uh, any meeting let me explain some basic rule of this meeting please turn off your cell phone or set them on a silent mode if you are not using it to join the call please mute your microphone unless instructed by the toastmaster of the day please keep your video on a unless you have a issue with the bandwidth and uh, microphone video option are in a bottom left corner uh, do not share your screen it unless it is instructed by pmod kindly refrain from the movement that distract the speaker you can use emojis thumbs up and claps to react the throughout the meeting for a role player and especially for a speaker it is advised to it is advised to pin the timer window so that they can see timer throughout the meeting when you begin the speaking the correct protocol is that you have to greet the following way like uh, good morning madam good morning uh, madam president toast good morning toast master of the day fellow toast master and dear guest maintain broad smile throughout the meeting and uh, now let us uh, begin with a round of introduction introduction uh, guest please tell us about your name your profession Uh, guest would you like to tell about your uh, about yourself i can see there is one guest for today's meeting guest hello akshay my voice is audible to you yeah yeah you are audible uh, uh, yeah can you introduce uh, yourself yeah yeah sure okay yeah Firstly, good morning, good morning, all of you, Toastmaster members. Good Myself, morning. Sagar Dhanad. Actually, uh, my professional career, I am a Oracle SAP consultant, and my, I have completed B in Electrical Engineering from Siegar Institute of Technology. And I want the main motto to join the Toastmaster clubs to improve my communication skill as well as the leadership skill. That's why I join here, and I listen this about the Toastmaster club from my boss. he also member of toastmaster club then he he told me join this club that's why i am here today and about my hobbies my hobbies is to reading books and traveling and help to the needy people and my interesting area is to teach the people means whatever i have knowledge to share with the someone to grow people this is all about my self yeah great uh yeah sagar uh, we will make sure that you will enjoy the today's meeting we welcome yeah. uh, sagar and uh, now we will uh, now let me introduce about our club uh, now in, let me introduce you all to the toastmaster of the day the toastmaster of the day is a someone who will be your host request you to pay attention to him 
so you will understand the meeting agenda and meeting format so with this today's toastmaster of the day is a person who is the engineer by profession and his hobbies are reading swimming and playing uh, chess uh, so with this let me welcome to the toastmaster pawan uh, abhishek negi the over to toastmaster of the day abhishek negi Thank you so much, Ajay Ram, Toastmaster Excel, for introducing me. Madam President, hello, Toastmasters and dear guests. I welcome all to another exciting program of online learning at 385th Naval Chapter Meeting of Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest. I am Toastmaster Abhishek, your host for today's meeting. India, it is an epic adventure, a travel destination that will grab you with both hands and will captivate you. A somewhat imperfect place. but it will challenge you at the same time it will amaze you if i talk about myself i love to travel and when you are in pune the travel destination can be endless every time you go to a place you will get surprised by the splash of historic old world charm with the line of modern attraction once during the travel i met some tourists from italy now they had been in india for nearly 2 months we had lot of discussion but i can remember one sentence that they said and it's their word they said that it feels like we can come to india million times or stay here for our entire life but we cannot see all of india and i believe that it is true just think about your locality your state or district have you understood it completely does it still surprise you Don't you feel like every time you travel, you live a new life, a new experience. You see a new place that you never thought existed. Now, if your place has so many variations, what about the entire country? And again, I would say this travel destination is not for everyone, unless you don't like rich history, vibrant and diverse culture, delicious food, and stunning landscape. In this meeting, we are going to travel to India. we will see so many different places as described by our tours masters and we will see the specialty of those places but before that let's have some warm up what is it i will show you some places and let's see if you can recognize or not so let us start with a simple one from pune itself okay yeah. can you recognize this place and yeah. it is okay if you can add some some information about it Okay, what is this place? Chenivar Wada. Chenivar Wada. Yes. Chenivar Wada. Yes, Chenivar Wada. Yeah. Uh, this is Chenivar Wada. It was one of one of time headquarter of Beswa, and this place is really fortified. Uh, in this peak time, it was around uh, the area was a little dot, and if you are in Pune, you must visit this place. Okay, let's have one more. Okay, can you recognize this? Ashutosh says Sihagar Fort. Yes, this is right answer. Yeah. This is the Sihagar Fort. Yes. Okay, so uh, Sihagar actually it was earlier name as Kondala. So Sivaji is his trusted and brave general Tanaji. He fought a battle here all alone with Mughal army. on hearing his death shivaji said that we all the won the fort we lost a lion so after that this place kondala it was named as sihagarh there is a movie after it uh, can you can you want tell what is the movie's name tanaji rao tanaji pune mumbai tanaji yes tanaji. right answer tanaji right answer okay so in this meeting we will have many such discussion we can you can share your experience and uh, so many quizzes information as well given that we are on time so timer or uh, prosma sir kulsi you can be the pt teacher today okay moving on let me explain what is the meeting agenda and the description for the meeting so there will be two session in this meeting the first session consists of prepared speeches three speaker will attempt to deliver their speech based on certain objectives those speeches will be later evaluated by the respective evaluators Second session is the impromptu speaking. 
this is the opportunity for the toastmaster as well as the guest to show their skills and thinking fast and giving speeches without any preparation after that we will have the report presented by all our role players and we will see how well we have done in this meeting so now let us move on to our presiding officer address uh, toastmaster minal i think you are in the online meeting a physical meeting yes okay. so uh, let me tell you something about our presiding officer before i uh, call her on the stage she is a contest strategy manager she loves reading cycling dancing playing her body and composing poem oh my god she has so many skills i mean no i feel like even in the milestone meeting we give her half of the meeting time she can still uh, amaze us with our skill so let us further ado let us welcome the most skillful person and someone true to her title distinguished toastmaster minal thanks toastmaster of the day toastmaster abhishek that was indeed you have taken us to you have taken us to a wide journey starting with pune and what a theme in line with the summer vacations you have chosen the theme like travel destinations now all of us except our kids generations will identify with this theme because for our kids unfortunately social media mobile games is all their vacation all about but this was not the case with us we always used to wait for our holidays to get through so that we get to travel various places across the across at least the country and that i would like to put an analogy with our very community that is toastmasters now all of us who had attended eloquence yesterday it was the entire district 98 which includes almost i would say 3/5 of indian territory so we met all the people who geographically do not even belong to our own place but still we met them okay it was an online thing yesterday but prior to that prior to uh, two years before till the year 2019 the eloquence used to be held at one centralized location with all the people coming around from all across the country so that was what travel used to be all about because it was not that people used to only attend the eloquence and get back to their homes they wanted to carry along those travel logs with them so that they could put it through they could pass on the legacy forward and that is what those masters all about in the last two years we could virtually travel the entire globe because many of us have attended meetings all across and we will agree to that so with pros and cons from both the sides nothing can beat the actual travel experience everyone will agree with that along this note i will pass on the control to our toast master of the day to take us to our further adventures over to you toast master abhishek thank you so much toast master medal for the wonderful address so in the meeting we have speakers and those speaker get feedback on how they can improve from the evaluator but what about rest of us just like there is individual evaluator for each speaker similarly there is in general evaluator for the entire meeting who will observe the proceeding at the end our general evaluator with the entire team come the stage and give us suggestions on how we can improve ourselves to act as a general evaluator we have someone i don't think we need much introduction about him he is our magician and he is the top speaker he is always active so let us welcome toast master chandrasekhar thank you so much toast master of the day hopefully i am clearly audible and visible can you confirm uh, yes, can anyone are. confirm if i am thank you so much so as a general evaluator i will be working with my team not alone so to act as a timer we have toastmaster tulsi i would request toastmaster tulsi to tell us about her role over to you toastmaster tulsi thank you toastmaster chandrashekhar good morning madam president toastmasters of the day fellow toastmasters and dear guests i am the timer for today's meeting my role as a timer to keep time 
all the evaluators, speakers, and table topic masters. To help me to do this, I have three colored cards, green card, yellow card, and red card. When the speaker hits qualifying time, I will show green card. When the speaker hits target time, I will show yellow card. And when the speaker hits at the end of their speech, I will show green card. For all the speeches, it should be five to seven minutes of length. At five minutes, I will show yellow green card. At six minutes, I will show yellow card. And at seven minutes, I will show red card. For table topic masters, so uh, mark their limit, not more than two minutes. At two min one minute, I will show green card. One minute, 30 seconds, I will show yellow card. And at two minutes, I will show red card. If required, a grace period of 30 seconds will be given to wrap up your speech, and then buzzer will ring. Come to the evaluator section. It should be two to three minutes of length. At two minutes, I will show green card. Two minutes, 30 seconds, I will show yellow card. And at three minutes, I will show red card. I will be present throughout the meeting whenever called upon. This is the end of my report. Thank you. And back to you, TMOD. And those are you are not audible. Chandra Shikha, you are not audible. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, you are audible. When we tend to speak, we try to use the filler words and filler sounds, which can make our speech be delivered. So to act as a R counter, we have Toastmaster Snehal, who will be explaining her role. Over to you, Toastmaster Snehal. Uh, thank you, Dr. Modi. Uh, am I audible to everyone? Yes. 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 Okay. So, Madam President, Toastmaster Master of the Day, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guest, uh, good morning, all. I'm excited uh, to be the uh, counter of today's meeting. The purpose of the uh, counter is to note down any overused words or filler words used as a crutch by anyone who speaks during the meeting. These filler words can be and, well, but, so, and, you know. Filler sounds can be a, uh, um, or any unnecessary sounds or unnecessary pauses. So I'll be presenting the report by end of this meeting. Uh, over to you, Toast, Toastmaster of the day. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Snehal. When we tend to use English, we try to make some good usage of English language. We try to also use exceptional usage of English language. And sometimes we do small, small mistakes. So to give us the critical feedback on the importance of language, we have our grammarian. So let me invite our grammarian, Toastmaster Anish. Uh, hello everyone, I will be the grammarian for the day. So I will start with the introduction of word of the day and phrase of the day. Along with that, I will keep a track of good usage of English and not so good usage of English. And at the end of the meeting, I will present my report. So to start off with word of the day, the word of the day for today is globe trotter. G-L-O-B-E-T-R-O-T-T-E-R, -E -E globe trotter. It's a noun and the meaning is someone who likes to travel often and widely. So I'll give one example. Andy was looking for a fellow globe trotter who could travel, who could travel with him and wipe on his expedition. So can any one of you try to give, uh, use this word and give me an example? Uh, anyone present over here? Yes, Toastmaster Pradeep. Always respected by Mr. Very, very true. And I like the usage. Anyone else who would like to try the word globe trotter? Toastmaster Okay, so I'm going to go back. Because I was not knowing about this word, I was just thinking that what is the meaning of this word. And then suddenly, a couple of my friends asked me to write out to go to Dubai 
So actually, it's a summer vacation. It was not a summer vacation. It was just a winter vacation in the month of December. And from there, I understood that this word is actually very much similar to suppression to actually remove the words. Okay, so that is what the sub part of our work is. Okay. Can you uh, give one usage uh, in sentence? I'll I'll say uh, uh, our so-called uh, Congress president. He is traveling everywhere, but he is not getting anything in, in India. But here there is no problem because if you see, he is traveling from one state to another state, and he is not traveling from one country to another. He is traveling from one state to another. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Okay. Anyone from the online mode can try. I would like to try. So go ahead. I found myself at crossroad. My glo uh, globe daughter inside me. Sorry, sorry. I want it's to okay. use some other. I forgot that sentence. Mm. So you can try. Yeah. I have some another one. Okay. I okay, wanted uh, to Tunchi? say, yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah, to. I wanted someone to stay with me, because I did not know I had married a globe trotter. Oh, nice, nice. Good usage. So that brings us to the word of the day. Now we'll move on to the phrase of the day. The phrase of the day is being at crossroads. To be at crossroads. The meaning is reach a stage where you have to make a decision. So one example can be after graduation, I was at crossroads. I had to make best decision for my career. Now I would like to ask people present over here to you, uh, uh, use this in a sentence. Can anyone try over here? Yes, Toastmaster Basenji. Okay, so this is about my experience. Some five years back, I was uh, very much uh, second in Korea. And then I got uh, an opportunity for my job, so it is uh, uh, in one of the prime company. And I was at the comfort of thinking that, okay, should I move to Bangalore or not, or should I continue in Pune? If I would have continued in Pune, then probably I would have the same life which probably I was uh, having since last 10 years. I, at that point of tension, I took a decision that I, I should go to Bangalore and that was my budget decision. So I can hear you just come as a crossroad for me, which I took five years back. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Postmaster Prasenji not only used it in a sentence, but also gave a very good story about it. So, and Uh, Voice is not coming. Uh, yeah, Chandrasekhar, you are not audible. Toastmaster yeah, Chandrasekhar. Minutes. We missed some part. Yeah, some... you are not audible. Uh, can you all hear me? Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you so much. With that, I would like to give control back to our Toastmaster of the day for the further proceeding of the meeting. And he will be back at the later end of the meeting. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster for introducing me your uh, team. And I will also say that Toastmaster Chandrasekhar is today's savior because he took the uh, general liberator rule at the last moment. So thank you so much for that. Now, let us move on to our next session, that is the prepare speeches. So uh, for this, we 
every speaker has to give their uh, speeches that they have prepared. Every speech has a certain time limit and certain objective. That's why it is called project. So our first speaker uh, is going to attempt his icebreaker speech, his first speech in Toastmasters. So to read out the objective, I would request Toastmaster Pradeep. Toastmaster Pradeep, are you ready? Hello. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Please go ahead. Yeah, so good morning to everyone. Uh, so Toastmaster... Sa Toastmaster Sagar is going to... Toastmaster Sagar is going to attempt his uh, first icebreaker speech from the pathway of presentation mastery. And the purpose of the purpose of the icebreaker speech is to introduce himself to the club and what are his hobbies and till now what are his achievements and from where he has done his shooting and all about this. So over to you to Toastmaster of the Toastmaster of Zik. Thank you so much, Toastmaster. Now, so our speaker, our speaker is an uh, Oracle consultant. He loves reading book and learning new things. When I say, asked him about what is his travel, uh, travel destination, he said it's Jammu, Jammu Kashmir. So our speaker is going to present his speech on personal introduction. Personal introduction, close master Sagar. Firstly, thanks to Toastmaster Abhishek, Toastmaster of the day, Abhishek, to give me a chance to introduce myself. And good morning, all of you, Toastmaster members. Today, I will be giving my first icebreaker speech, which is a chance for me to introduce myself for those who don't know about me. My name is Sagar Dhanad, and I am belonging from Koparga. Maybe most of the know, most of the people don't know about the Koparga, but it is near from Shirdi, Sai Baba Temple, 15 kilometers. And coming to about my family members, we have four members in my family. My younger brother is working in TCS as a system engineer. And my father is a farmer and my mother is a perfect house, housewife. And I completed my school from HG Vidyale, from HG Vidyale. And when I was in school, at that time, I am a state level throwball and volleyball player. I am participating from uh, our Maharashtra state when I win uh, uh, state level play match or matches also and i have completed engineering from siagad institute of technology when i was in studying in siagad at that time i am a president of national student congress from our siagad campus and in my college i am a university ranker also in electrical engineering department after that i think to start my career in a manufacturing background when first my career is started from our tata motors pimpri when I was in working in Tata Motors, my job role is a maintenance engineer. When I, I am struggling lots of things in maintenance, but it is not a related to my uh, profession. So I think to switch my career in an IT professional. So after that, I started my career as an Oracle SCM consultant. And when I was working in an Oracle consultant, I am facing lots of challenges to deal with our foreign clients means while communicating with him or presenting myself in front of the customers. At that time, I connect with our India head. At that time, he suggests me to join the Toastmaster Club. He will help you to improve your communication skill as well as presentation skill and all these things. That's why I, today I have joined this club for Toastmaster to improve my communication as well as leadership and presentation skill. And my life goal is to connect with the number of people and learn new things from most of the peoples and whatever knowledge I have gained in my past life to share with someone who's, who has need to this knowledge. This is my lifetime goals. And parallelly 
my short term goal is to uh, learn new things from all of you in whatever i need to grow my professional careers as well as a long term journey that's all about myself means my introduction okay thank you so much uh, for the introduction okay so moving on to the next speaker uh dostos astos uh, i have not received your details can you please uh, tell about it hello yeah am i audible and visible to everybody yeah yes you are fine so i should start or what yes of course so can you tell about your project i have not received the details so Uh, yes, uh, Abhishek. Yes. Hello, Abhishek. Yes, yes. So, can you tell about your project uh, title? Uh, because I have not received it. a uh, pathway presentation mastery that i know and uh, this is my fourth speech and the speech title is uh, persistent sk uh, and uh, what is the timing for it Say again timing time okay yeah, five to seven minutes Okay, you can continue with the speech. Thank you so much. Okay, right. Uh, so, uh, good morning, Madam President, uh, dear fellow test course masters, uh, and uh, my dear friend. Everybody want to study, and so I do. I have heard many a times that if you really wanted to do good in your life, you have to study a lot. Uh, study a lot. It means you have to read a good novel. You have to read a lot of books. because these uh, while going through so many books you will get to know many of the aspects of their life if, if it is a biography or if its book is written on some other aspect you will get to know uh, their view of life or their view point on seeing some other things taking the lessons and because i also wanted to become successful in my life i also purchased a book named wings of fire 5 years back so i purchased a book wings of fire however if i talk about that uh, from past two weeks till now i have read just five pages of those books similarly everybody wanted a good and deep personality a, a definitely a good uh, lifestyle and a good uh, physique of himself so i hit the gym a year back i paid a subscription for entire one year and suddenly uh, last to last week i got a call when i was in office asking that hey ashutosh uh i'm uh, jyoti calling from a solaris gym so i just called you to inform you that uh, it's just 3 days remaining of your membership do you want to continue uh, with the same membership or we have an offer for you wherein you are going to get 3 years of membership at one time where you have to pay a 10% discount on the total bill value it is stunned me oh my god it's 3 one is completed and i haven't hit the gym for if, if i count all those days together i barely go to gym for 30 days out of 365 days there is one tool called vba visual basic application that we can use in ms excel and taking the uh, help of those vba we can definitely solve our most of the repetitive work in excel uh, in fraction of minutes time so 
because few of my colleagues were using those VBA in their Excel so that they can perform their job in an easier fashion. I also thought of learning uh, the VBA. I started taking lessons from the YouTube platform and, and some other platforms as well where it was freely available to me. Uh, I studied for one, two or three, four days. Then again, the history repeat itself, it stopped there only. From thereafter, I couldn't use it any further. This was the scenario one for me. Scenario two, from last two weeks, I start. I make sure that I have to read the same book, Wings of Fire, that I purchased five years back every day. Maybe the amount of time can be a little less if it's a five minute, 10 minute, or maybe half an hour. Before going to office and after getting ready, I make sure that I'm reading at least a paragraph of, of that book. Making those habits regularly, in a two weeks time, I'm halfway done of reading my that book. And again, while coming back from office to home, I make sure that I go to my gym, which is in my office premises every another day. And just by making a small practice that every another day I have to go to a gym and do exercise. It can be cardio or it can be any small little thing, but I have to go to the gym regularly. This is the dedication that I have thought of myself. And from there, it's two weeks till now that I'm regularly going to gym. And I can feel the difference, maybe not physically, but yeah, the mental difference is definitely there. I am realizing a lot of change in my personality from the moment I started going to gym from last two weeks. Same happens for the VBA also. I started uh, learning VBA from a platform where, from a platform called Udemy. I borrowed a login ID and password from one of my colleagues in my office. And from there, I started learning after waking up early in the morning. The total chapter contains uh, approximately 52, 52 chapters. And because of my re re regulation, repetition of my learning habit that I somehow am trying to develop, I have finished 42 chapters out of those 56 chapters. So if you are going to compare from the previous thing and the now for this time, one thing, what was there also and what is this time also? There was a motivation, there was a reason for me to study, there was a reason for me to even continue my gym activity and all those things. But the, but the one thing, what was lagging was a persistency. I was, not pers I was not persistent enough to do my job regularly, whatever in the field it is. In a similar fashion, when we are coming to second scenario, other than having the motivation, desire to do those things, however, at this time, it was always backed by the persistent nature of doing the same job. And this brings a wonderful result in my life. So if I'm going to summarize the entire discussion or whatever we are discussing so far, that it is a persistent thing that can always bring a lot of wonder in our life. And if it is not there, definitely we are going to miss out on the, some very big, bigger goals. So in our life, we have to persist then, and if, if the persistency is there along with the other factors, definitely we can move the biggest mountain that is there. And we have a very live example that even Jitan Ram Banji was able to make a road on the, uh, chest, on the chest of mountain just because of his persistency and, and the regularity in his nature. By this way, if, if, if we are persistent in our life, definitely we can bring wonders and make a significant change in our life. So these small, small, small things can all coming together and make a big difference. Thank you and back to you Toastmaster today. Thank you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster for the wonderful speech. Let us uh, stay pause for the one minute to write feedback to the speaker. You can write feedback to the speaker through the chat window or you can message him privately. Timer, please let me know when one minute is over. Yeah, Abhishek, can you hear us? Uh, yes, we can hear you. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. So, our next speaker is presenting again another ice speaker from the Pathway Innovative Planning. Uh, the evaluator for the speaker is Toastmaster Venkatesh. I will request Toastmaster Venkatesh to read the objective for the speech. 
Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Abhishek. Presiding officer, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmaster and dear guests. Very good morning. The speaker three delivers his speech from level one, project one, from innovative planning manual with a project title, Icebreaker. This is the foundational project and its objective is to introduce him to this club and the skills that he need to begin his Toastmasters journey. The purpose of this project is to introduce himself to the club and learn the basic structure of public speaking. Speaker can deliver any speech which is humorous, informational, or any other style that appeals to him. I wish all the best to speaker Toastmaster Jack. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vendates. The time allowed for the speech is four to six minutes. That means the green will be at four minutes, yellow will be at five minutes, and red will be at six minutes. However, a grace of 30 seconds will be given, and hard stop will be at six minutes, 30 seconds. Our next speaker is Toastmaster Jay. Toastmaster Jay is an engineer at Dabler profession. He loves reading. When asked about the theme, he said his favorite destination is Ronavla and Elora Caves. So, Toastmaster Jay, let us welcome with the speech title, Why Me? Why Me? Toastmaster Jay. Just a second. Is I am visible or no? Uh, yeah, uh, no, no. Okay. Give me a second. Huh? Let me change the camera. Uh, we can see you, Toastmaster Jay, now. Uh, what happened? Give me a second and let me join the meeting once again. Five seconds. Uh, we can see you and hear you, Your Toastmaster Jay. You can hear me? Bye. Yeah, and we can Bye. see you as well. Super. Time a card, you can start your screen so that I can add you. Okay, perfect. I hope I'm hundred percent audible and visible. Perfect. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Whenever something goes wrong and people pointed on you, what do you see? Hey, why me? If something unexpected happen, what do you see? Hey, why me? It happened to me. I hope everyone in this meeting gone through it. 
Am I right? Madam Presiding Officer, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guest, very warm good morning to all of you. In 1983, April Sonipat Haryana. Why me? Why me started for me when I born in a small village in a small family. I completed my primary education under an ascetic tree. Hey, don't think, don't, don't, don't think my village is somewhere in deep forest where you can find these types of weird trees. That's an English name of our local neem tree. And I spent my childhood in that village. And from the day one, I was born with the leadership skills and most responsible person, child in entire village. Do you know why? If someone's port broke, who is responsible? If my school bag is missing, then who is responsible? Yes. Sometimes I ask to my parents, why whatever happens goes wrong? Why me? Why are you pointed always on me? That was my childhood. Later my parents told me, Jay, you are born to do something special in your life. Take this form and give the entrance test for diploma engineering. I asked, are you sure this form is for me? They said, Jay, yes. Done. I cleared the diploma entrance test. I did my diploma and joined the corporate world. What happened? From the day one, from the day one, everyone, everyone was making joke on me. Do you know why? Because I spent my whole time in Hindi. My first standard till 10th standard education was in Hindi medium. And I just did my 10th my class with diploma and other members were from BTEC. So there was no any match. Every day why it was happened with me. Then one day I broke down. I said, this is not my cup of tea. I left it and then asked for two days vacation and went back to my village. I asked my parents, Papa, why? Why me? Why have you chosen this to me? Why all it happened to me? And the answer? Yeah, I know. I know you can do this. Don't worry. Go back. I am having trust on you. That day, I do not want to shatter their trust. So I joined the corporate world once again. I applied for several courses, English medium, everything, whatever is required for that corporate job. I did that and achieved that. And then I was 100% unstoppable. And one most important lesson which I got there, my parents clearly said, when you stop your learning, your earning will stop. Your success will stop. I completed 20 plus certification courses, six plus diploma courses, two BTECs, three MTECs. It looked weird, but that's my way to look the success and the progress. Today, I'm working in one of the most prestigious companies in the world, Daimler, as a technical engineer expert with 20 plus years of experience in automotive component design. But still these learnings are in my mind. And whenever something goes happen, I, I ask, why me and what I have to do for this? With all this, why, my, why me, the things were going fine. And one day the life rewind. How? I married to my soil mate in October 2009. And today having two children, Viraj 12 and Jatin 10 years old. I'm living my childhood again. 
few days back they put the dents on the fridge or they hide my the mobile so that i can't force them to join online classes and then i asked hey why have you did this and both answered why me why are you asking me so in this way my why me again started and with all this why me one day i joined the tmcp northwest club meeting and one of the table topic speaker forced me push me jay jay go ahead go ahead this jay you can you can do it i asked hey why me why are you forcing me said, don't worry don't worry go ahead go ahead and that day i delivered my first table topic speech and today i am delivering my fifth ice breaker speech why me i am enjoying my why me with me and i hope you are also enjoying the same back the control to toast master of the day thank you wow amazing speech toast master jay and again this is the ice breaker speech this first ice breaker speech and we have another ice breaker speech by toast master sagar so uh i would request everyone to give a standing ovation as this is a pleasure for the ice breaker speech okay so let us observe a minute of minute of silence to write feedback for the speaker you can again write feedback for the speaker in the chat to the window or in the message privately a timer to some simple cities let me know when one minute is over Thank you so much. And again, Tosma uh, Tulsi, can you tell us uh, the timing for the speaker and who are qualified for the voting? Yeah. For icebreaker speech, TM Jay took six minutes sixteen second. And uh, guest Sagar, I think, might have not known about the timings. He took only three minutes thirty eight seconds. And uh, for his speech, Ashutosh, TM Ashutosh took five minutes fifty five seconds. so we will have to the voting at the end of the meeting now we will have another session in the toast masters to work it properly we need a team the executive committee the executive committee role is not just only to present the meeting it's to handle everything starting from where the meeting will have be happening to resolving the issues to so many different responsibility pm the executive committee has and this is one of the great platform where we can actually see what, how much we have input and turn into our self and more now to tell us more about the executive committee role and uh, what is the importance of it the excom role we have someone who is i would say very uh, dedicated toast master and he knows a lot about uh, the executive committee and the how toast master works so it will be really great to hear from him to read out let me read out what is uh, about him so he uh, he is a former president from toast masters club of pune uh, and he was before that the pp membership pp education and pp pr he he is the club uh, mentor for mastering leadership toast masters club at district 98 he is sponsorship coach year at 2021 at eloquence he is a club sponsor for kolapur toast masters club and he was the he is the area director for uh, district 98 again 
and all this is from 2019. So it is really great to hear from him. And again, he is the future division director for Division C over Toastmasters Club. So let us welcome DTM Aditya Sachana. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for smart of the public of the production. Thank you so much for having me. I love you. Your background looks good and in accordance with the team you have. So all the members present both offline and online, I hope all of you are doing well, doing safe and are all set towards as we move towards the new term. So Madam President and members, good morning. Before I move ahead, I talk about the XCOM goals. I have, I have one request. All the members that have served in an XCOM, that is from the SA to the President, I would like any one of you to come forward and tell me one thing which you have learned being or playing that XCOM role at Toastmasters of Pune Northwest. And just one point, let's keep it short with Toastmasters. So let's keep it to max five to 10 seconds. So do we have the sergeant at arms house today or any past SAA of the club? Okay, no worries. We have I'm, the may I? treasurer. Yeah, please, Jeff, please go ahead. Everyone is not same. Everyone is having different type of competency and capabilities. So never expect this similar output from two different members. One learning, I'm sorry, I missed earlier. One, one learning which is role specific. So it's a the current treasurer. And one learning or if anyone or you have okay no, no worries do we have a secretary or a past secretary northwest no worries do we have the vppr yes i think i think we can yeah when please go ahead one yeah. country learn uh, as a VPPR. Past, VPPR, past VPPR and with this VPPR role it has helped me at the workplace to make a better presentation and a high impact presentation which I learned through the using the Canva application which has helped me. All right thank you so much Canva better presentations great. We have a VP membership present or a past VP membership. Okay I see Jay again and Abhishek both of you can go. No worries. I think we'll take. So I first. was the, I was the treasurer in my town. Okay. And okay. as a treasurer, what I found, learn the protocols, follow the protocols. Otherwise, at the end, everyone will be in a mess. So follow the <laughs> protocol from that day one Correct. itself, and take the prior approval for anything. Absolutely. Money is yes, money things and helps member get better in I remember that also. I think the VP member uh, yes. So I was the secretary and VP member said as one of the past. Uh, so from my experience as the VP member, I would okay. say uh, I learned how to push. I mean, it is not just only think about the club itself, it's about thinking about the people, the guests about, I mean, how we can help them. This is one of the learning and also uh, not to think about we are bothering them so much and push forward if required. If we think that we can help them. Okay, so trying to help them and not pushing a lot, if I'm not wrong, that's what you meant, doing as much as your old demands. Okay. All right, thanks. Thanks, Abhishek. VP Education, anyone who has been a VP Education or a past VP Education? The most, I think, one of the most great roles in the club XCOM. Uh, mm, hello. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, actually, I am the current VP at the club. So the the skills that I have learned the most important is how to manage. Management skills is one of the most important skills. Also, how to make sure that the meetings are uh, meetings are variety. 
you know, to catering all the members needs and making sure that they are uh, they are progressing in that in their journey something that i think is the most important aspect as a vpn awesome i very right for you said member progress and tracking is one of the biggest focus points of any vpn education thank you last but not the least uh, if meena can come i think we have a few past presidents as well anyone can come and one point that you would like to highlight as being a president of this club okay i think she's not yeah just give us a minute give us yeah, a minute yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh she's offline okay. Hi. Hi, Aditya. Hi. Oh, can you hear me? Perfect. Loud and clear. Okay. So, as a president, what I experienced was that you have to play on the pulse of each and every team member because we know that every person is different. So, you have to know that which person will be comfortable while talking at what point of time, and that thing has actually helped me at my workplace as well because. Uh, honestly speaking we cannot cast everyone in the same mold we have to work as every person thinks and that way we have to provide him or her the space so that's what i have experienced as a president and still going strong with it thank you thank you so much right we said right we said you lead the club and its members and you are the ceo of the club thank you so much for sharing all right i would like to thank everyone who came forward and the reason i asked i initially asked all the present expo members to come forward and share the experience the very reason being is that moving forward all of you will be taking up the roles in this club now every club has a certain club culture that is followed or a way of functioning or a certain tradition that is followed to ensure that we get the maximum output now not just the community club and naturally you will have to nurture yourself and your members in such a way so what you have heard now please keep in mind is something that is expected from you as well as what you can expect from the roles or members moving forward so this is what you can expect when you come as an expo member for tmcp northwest i have put a link on the chat which basically summarizes all the roles of an ex former an executive committee so i will not be repeating that there is no point you can always go back and read it my main agenda for today is to talk about some certain points which you should keep in mind and also i am assuming that many of you might have joined during the pandemic and hence you might have a little gap of what to expect as a leader when you are transitioning from the online to the offline mode or some certain points which you should keep in mind as a club which is as strong as not west because that will really give you an insight on how or where or for which position should you apply before i start talking about the rules a few things i would like to share with all of you you do not need to have any for particular it might be applicable recommend by your senior members of your club that maybe for the top uh, maybe the president of education it might help but the bottom line being is everyone is eligible as long as you are a paid member second there is a mentorship at every point you will not lose out but you will not worry that let's suppose if i am going for the role of a pppr and i have never worked on a software i have no idea how to make a poster you will be provided with all the necessary help and mentorship right from the beginning so you can leave that myth behind even if you are a, a someone who is at the at the starting line you can still take up the role and do fantastic last but not the least as mentioned in on the speech this these roles really groom you and one thing i can guarantee you is moving towards the offline scenario you will have a lot of fun in taking these roles so the points that i will put forward one common question that i hear is is it going to get tougher if we move to the offline world my answer is it gets more interesting and it even gets a lot more fun it may not necessarily get tougher but the dynamics might change 
So if you see a particular officer doing the role in a certain way right now, there is a very good chance it might not be so when we move towards the offline. Having said that, we are still looking into the hybrid mode. If all goes well and if the cases do not rise or we do not have any restrictions, I'm hoping that the move towards the offline world will be a lot quicker. Otherwise, always keep in mind you uh, act both for the offline world and the online world, right? So if anyone has any questions still here, I'll take. Otherwise, I'll move on with role specific points that you need to keep in mind and how or what the expectations are. Okay, great. Uh, all right, so I'll begin. So I'll start with the sergeant at arms. In a typical XCOM or an executive committee, you have seven plus one members, seven being from the president to the sergeant at arms, along with the immediate past president of the club who acts as a mentor to the XCOM. Uh, the typical way it's defined the hierarchy or the flow is the president as a CEO or the number one person, or I, I wouldn't say number one, you can say the leader of the club, which is followed by the vice president education, the vice president membership, public relations, treasurer secretary, SAA, right? So I'll start with the sergeant at arms. Sergeant at arms in an online world you may have seen does not have a lot of defined work. You may have seen him or her operating Zoom meetings, helping with the certifications, etc. cetera. Uh, in an offline world, the sergeant at arms is responsible for the belongings of the club, like the lectern, or you may have stationery associated. For example, if you whiteboard in your at your venue and you would have markers, so the SA is responsible for the markers. He or she may also help in bringing the physical certificates, the panels. So the SA, in a way, is it handles the inventory of the club. So the sergeant at arms is going forward. You will be in constant liaison with the president, you will be in constant coordination with the president and understanding and helping with the venue itself uh, as well. You set up the venue also before the meeting starts. So this is the major role of a sergeant at arms. Moving forward, treasurer secretary, I won't take them, I won't take them, you know, as for the hierarchy, I'll just take treasurer first. Uh, the treasurer, as rightly said by Jay, is very important. You need to have a strong in order to make sure that your in turn also move forward. So I can be collecting full fees, sitting down with the club XCOM in deciding what membership the membership fees has to be put in place moving forward. Now, one major difference that you can expect in the offline online world is currently your expenditure, your typical expenditure was very less, mainly Zoom or if you have trophies or maybe certificates, you would want to send it to the person via post. And in the offline world, you have a lot more responsibilities as a treasurer. You will have to decide for the venue. So the standard finances, income, and expenditure remain same. But the parameters or the number of things or attributes associated with the club increases a lot. Your expenditure will naturally increase, and hence you will have to be a lot more sensitive in how you balance your income and your expenditure. So that is, but you will it's 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 a it's something which really teaches you a lot in terms of money management as well, especially when you're handling uh, the finances of a membership base, which is as high as Northwest. So that is one thing to keep in mind for the treasurer. Secretary, secretary uh, typically remains standard, both online and offline. You don't have much differences. Uh, you are who also has access to the club center. For those of you who do not know, whenever you give a speech, let's suppose you finish the first level, you have given a certain number of speeches and evaluations. Your vice president education typically marks it complete, right? And then you get a certificate, and then maybe you share on social media, etc. So that access is also with the president and the secretary. So secretary is one who is responsible for the MOMs as well, and also it has this authority. MOMs, just to give an idea, are it's a very important document, a very important tool. For example, in the secretary highlights or you know, puts up certain points, and maybe you want to refer something that happened, or you want to check if some information was passed or what, your MM becomes your base. That becomes a very important document to refer. 
So that those are the typical role of a secretary. I, I personally uh, would say the role of a secretary does not change much in terms of the on of an online mode. But yes, naturally, uh, moving to the offline, you may have to help your fellow XCOM members in carrying out uh, the natural general club duties. Vice President Public Relations does not change at all. Uh, I have done this role. It's a lovely role. You learn a lot, as mentioned by Venkut. The Canva presentation you naturally become a lot, lot better. Uh, and it's very easy to actually realize that doing PR is not tough. You can... I have I have implemented a lot of PR learnings in my personal life, uh, even in my professional life. Uh, PR does not change. PR remains around about the same as, as what you must have seen at the moment. Uh, but it's a role which is it's a lot of fun, a lot of learning, and you will definitely uh, it's it's good. You can definitely think of the role of a VPPL. VP membership. Yes, the time it changes, standard base remains same is to help and help the guests understand what the TI program is and help them convert as members and share what they can learn as a toast master. In a typical offline mode, you may be online, you may be friends, so yes, you'll have to manage uh, ensuring that we're able to interact with guests, both whoever attend in person and whoever attend online. You can have your team, of course. Uh, but that is one thing. Uh, in terms of learning in the offline world, I have seen you network very well. You learn how to uh, put forward your point. You learn how to persuade. You learn how to ensure that what you're saying is actually reaching to the other person. We might know what postmaster is, but it becomes the VP membership's job to ensure that what he or she puts forward or shares with the guest is relevant. Is, is something which actually conveys the right message. Right message is important. So VP membership uh, in online, in the offline segment is the dynamics are different, but the base remains same. Your workload might increase a little bit. VP education, a uh, lot of work. So I always like to call this particular role as something which is the most demanding role. There is no doubt about that. Uh, typically, under a VP education, I'll, I'll highlight the points that you have to see is uh, the getting the role players in short, basically meeting management, people management, because you also have to track their education progress, you have to make sure people can active, members who are inactive, and you have seen them not been giving a speech, you have to reach out to them, you have to ask what is the problem, you have to align themselves. You might have someone from college and you might say that I need to prepare myself for the placements which are coming up. So you need to help out accordingly. You might have someone who says I have an appraisal coming up for my at my at my job. You need to help accordingly. Uh, apart from this, you help you coordinate with the VP membership uh, to make sure that people or the members who it, it's typically a VP membership job. Uh, you must have seen the orientation, the induction, but the VP education also is in the loop. So in short, VP education has a lot of stuff. You will have your own team, of course. But yes, uh, moving into the offline world, you will have to manage getting the role players and making sure they fill up both whoever would uh, join online and whoever would join offline. Just a personal, uh, and what I've seen is in the offline mode, people are more enthusiastic. They like to come forward. Usually, at least before, we did not have a problem in terms of filling up roles, speeches, or evaluation. Let's hope that enthusiasm comes back. Your work typically might get easier at least to the offline front. But yes, having said that, it is a day, it is a big role. Uh, you can have your own team to make sure that you delegate your work. Moving on uh, to the CEO of the club, which is the president. President is the link between the club and the district. The district, we, uh, we have certain initiatives, we provide certain kind of help, and we will then communicate that to your president. Then your president does the bridge and then puts it forward to the club. Your president on the on the other side may bring in problems of the club to the area director. So that's how it typically works. President at the end of the day is responsible for whatever happens in the club and is the one who takes the final call of course with the consultation and uh, with with the with keeping in the good practices uh, of the expo members and the club the president typically manages all roles and makes sure that everything runs smoothly the machinery runs smoothly 
so i wouldn't say much about the president it's the role which is uh, it's one in its own way and it has a slightly different dynamic so in terms of online option no change i do not see a change in the president's role uh, if you can attend online act as someone who inspires or is a role model to the other members just make sure you upload the best practices so that is in a nutshell i hope i've shared with what you can expect in the offline mode in the online mode and moving forward one point i would like to highlight i know all of you must be thinking that i've shared all this but you must have seen your past expo members you're running around or they must have shared the fair share of challenges my humble request sincere request to all of you all the expo members at least for the role of the vp education whoever takes it up vp membership uh treasurer if you want with the non books part of it and the sergeant at arms with the inventory learn to delegate and prioritize have your team vp education becomes a very big role you can have a team maybe one who helps you with the agenda one who is focused on getting the role clear one who helps you with uh, the finer details of the meeting the reason i'm saying is it gets overwhelming after a certain point of time which demotivates you from moving forward or might even demotivate for the incoming leaders or the future leaders of the company Similarly, for VP membership, if you think you can handle one side, maybe if you can handle the online side or the offline side, the other side can be taken by someone who is your associate, your team member. So delegate is what I would request all of you. All roles, the moment you start doing things on your own, you have lost. And if you lose, the club loses. The club is only as strong as its leaders. And this all the seven roles have something to teach and as i said moving on to the offline world there is a lot of importance and there's a lot of work by each expo members it is fun it is interesting and i hope many of you apply and take up these roles all roles rather and you come forward and i hope to see in big numbers so i'll open for questions if any for now please feel free to ask you no 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 restriction on the kind of question you would ask if you have any questions please feel free to ask i think i've got enough time to ask uh uh dite maditya i have one yeah. question so it is yeah. that how do we encourage new members to take excom roles like as yeah. a challenge or how encourage them so this is a this is very common question uh, how how do you motivate people to come up and take up roles one way to go about it would be now you have a certain uh, number of members in a club the first thing that we follow will be open up the roles you invite members to come forward and all the existing members who are there now you have an idea at least if you have a member let's say who is one month old two month old six month old you have an idea of how much experience would require for that particular role for example the sergeant at arms you may highlight or you may reach out to members who you think would do a good job initially it is please reach out to all members it is very important that everyone gets that information if not user skills uh, you explain what the role is reach out to members and ask them to apply for roles so this is one way this is it happens uh, a lot you have to be out as well to make sure that the rules are filled up one Thank point you. that yes sorry i am losing my network yes i hope you can hear me now yes the second point second point of how you would want to have new members inducted into the excom there are about a month and there is about a month and a half left for this term to get over ask members to work with you all excom officers can do that ask members to work with you for example you have the coming thing if you can ask someone or you can request people why don't you come forward and try to help in filling up this particular you know someone who is put in post me let the vp pr reach that person and say you can make the post of this new thing if someone is put in we that stop to be or uh, wants to develop Uh, the habit of talking to people, talk to people. We can show the good role. The current VPM can reach out and say, "This uh, I received five guests. Maybe this guest, this one guest, you can try. You can talk about what Toastmasters is about. That is important. 
you we all like for example we do a test drive about it by a car so let them also get a feel of what they can expect of what that world demands of. so that is also one other way so these two ways reach out to them personally and second is have them also be a part of your responsibility in keeping up with yeah i hope i have answered i have jay who's raising his hand yes i have one question i'm not having much yeah. experience in those post master committee only 3 3 uh, plus years of experience i am having and i had observed more than 7 uh, xcom in this duration i am also the part of two different club checked uh, several other clubs as well but one thing is very much common that is out of this 7 plus 1 xcom members only four members of five members are working and most of the time this plus one member is almost uh, invisible mode maybe in first meeting you can see uh, after that you never find him even uh, try hardest of time and what happened the legacy or the knowledge gone in the drain so this thing is happening so first thing out of this 7 plus 1 we can expect that one is uh, 100% will be out or let's say 90% will not work in that one one thing and remaining seven only 3 to 4 or maximum 5 members are working so how to keep everyone motivated or at least increase this percentage because not only is talking about the 1x com not talking about the 4 i'm talking about more than 10x com which i had personally visited so maybe you can share some aspect about it no absolutely absolutely right this is something which many x com face okay so first thing is you need, this is where the president typically comes and steps in so let's talk about the person not what it becomes a president's job to actually make sure that all the other six xcom officers are in sync have them firstly in the beginning and so we we all know and can agree that the enthusiasm is maximum towards the start so you can firstly ask them align them for the responsibilities that they have and it becomes a president's job to ensure that each and every one is doing what they are designed or what they are expected to do uh, one way that which i have observed is towards the end or maybe the second half the main focus shifts towards the major excom roles and naturally you have the other ones helping about here and there so a monthly call a president needs to have monthly call with all the xcom officers as well individually to make sure many a times it is observed that if there is a certain role two things happen firstly the person is overwhelmed there is a lot of work to do and he or she is not able to come forward and tell that i am having a certain issue here and we are all here as servant leaders so then that thing goes for the person does not come forward and the, that that would fades off So the president needs to make sure that everyone is heard at regular intervals. Point number one. Point number two, as I said, woman have a team. Make sure that the president also knows that no one is getting fatigued or no one is getting overwhelmed by what they do. So many a times, what happens is you have the lack of knowledge aspect. You have many members who have just joined the expo, but they're not aware of what to do. so the but the president should be aware of what is happening at least in a club like northwest so make sure that there is a regular information and knowledge being imparted to each and every ex com member right towards the end just a very small example as I, i'll share there was a conflict between a vp education and a vp membership it was on membership orientation induction etc etc now the vp education wanted the ice breakers done and the members initially were not aware of how to work they, they were not aware of what the pathways is what the program talks about and there was a certain thing what how much the vp member should uh, should take up orientation induction how much of it and then when should we get step in there was then a uh, later on a clear bifurcation done member is onboarded let the first information or the first interaction with that member about what the basics are let that be strictly taken up by the vpm or one of the team members so before it, it used to be anyone or maybe some senior toast master which is also good if that is well oiled that system then it's fine and then moving from that first and the second interaction is where the vpm steps so that 
had a lot of therapy for both these farm officers and the farm base. So when it comes to that one inactive member, it's the president's job to give the nudge at regular intervals and to make sure that the push is, is, is you know, it's there at regular intervals and the, and the person is doing the work. That is one bit backwards. I hope I have answered the question. Right. And as Jay, as you yourself said, you have everyone is different. Everyone has a certain style of functioning. So you need to be sensitive to that. You need to understand because those masters is again as I said a servant leadership. Everyone has a primary job, families, etc. So you need to really balance that. Lastly, before I conclude, I would like to say there is something called as a TLDP, which is called as a Toastmaster Leadership Training Program, which happens twice a year, one in each town. This is the first part, wherein each and every XCOM officer is given a training uh, by senior Toastmasters about what to expect in that role. Apart from that, you will have your area director, your district officer, or even senior Toastmasters who will always be there to guide you, to help you. And as you, as the problems you put forward, you can already discuss, brainstorm, and have them solved. All right. Having said that, if if any one of you has any questions, you can reach out to me, or you can reach out to Meenal. Hope you have Venkatesh. Sorry. Yes. Yes, Venkatesh. Yeah. Hi, DTM Aditya. Uh, my question is: uh, Do you have any suggestion or guidance to the XCOM members or any members who are coming forward and for their motivation because most of the time uh, we lose that sync even the president or the XCOM the entire XCOM lose the sync and it's not that having said that it is always right to remain in the sync but losing the sync because they have their own priorities so do you have any advice to motivate them or keep them motivated all the time so that they will remain in the sync yeah so I think the only answer uh, uh, the best way is communication Monthly calls, I believe, is the best thing. Monthly calls, it, it is both an informal meet and wherein people come forward, they share their experience, the challenges. And it monthly calls are not overwhelming also. Let's face it, it becomes tough from all the seven from officers to come and more than once a month. You can go fantastic. Things are opening up in offline. Do team building exercises very very important. So the major factor I've seen in conflicts I've seen are this communication. For example, the VP education wants to poster a certain, all right. The VPPR knows it's not brand compliant. Now the VP education has spoken to the TMO. The TMO says, "Mujhe yehi chahiye." This is my team. The VP says it's not possible. We have many conflicts. So constant communication and is the only thing in office we have the concept of scrum masters and scrum meetings to try to implement that here to make sure everyone is communicating. If you see there is too much of uh, a burden, the president, as I said, should be aware of each and every XCOM member so that there is no clash. The president is the one who is the glue who keeps everyone together. So otherwise, that's the, one of the major sources of motivation gone wrong. So next time, catch your president if things are not going there. Thanks, Dekhe Madhi. Thank you so much, everyone, for having me. I wish you a very happy Sunday. For those of you having lucky ones having the holiday tomorrow, happy extended weekend. Stay safe, enjoy, and I'll hand it back to the DMOD postmaster, Abhishi. Over to you. Thank you so much, Vidya Madhya, for uh, explaining about the SCOM. I am uh, sure that many of us who have questioned it got weird. Uh, many of us have answered, answered the question as well. And many people will come up and you know take up the role for the SCOM. So now let us take a break for let's reduce it to two minutes because we are behind the schedule. And after that, we will continue the debate of the session. So uh, let's take a break and we can chit chat. I'm a response and say, please let us know when two minutes over.
Okay, in the meanwhile, let me go through the theme. Uh, okay, let's see if any one of you has visited. Yeah, this place. Okay, so this is Konar Sun Temple, it is in Odisha, and this is, there are very few uh, Sun Temple in India, this is one of them, and it uh, signifies, I mean, uh, that it is really made with mathematics, uh, so it has 12, uh, 12 wins, which represent 12 months, and 7 horses, which represent 7 days, uh, I mean, it is made in the search for this sun, sun carrier, uh, it is how it is made, and uh, if you see the timing, the, uh, the wheels, it is made in such a way that people of that time can see, I mean, they can understand what is the current time is based on sun's uh, light. This place? Uh, is it Banaras? Yes, it is Banaras. I love, you know, evening Aarti here, you will really enjoy it. You can visit once. Okay, so let us continue with the meeting. Uh, let us think, let us see our skills in thinking fast and giving speeches without any comparison in the impromptu speaking. To act as a tabletop master, we have someone who is in IT profession and he loves learning new things. So let us welcome Toastmaster Prasenjit. Am I visible and audible? Yes, you are. I think it's good afternoon now. Yeah. So good afternoon, everyone. I know it's the lunch time, so probably the response will not be that fast. And I am not able to see who all are there. Right. So I am the TTM for the today. And what is TTM basically? So TTM is someone who doesn't have to do anything. It's a very good role to play. I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm obviously I was sitting there and I'm standing here. I don't have anything to do except I just need to say, please come here and talk about a particular topic. What a role. You don't have to do anything. You just need to talk. What is TTM? ask someone to come and say before i go into the ttm thing i'll first say thank you to all of the speakers i enjoyed while sagar spoke sorry sagar no sagar was sitting there right and then ashutosh when ashutosh was speaking i was going to my 10 years memory lane i was just thinking that what this person is saying it's, it has happened to me you try for something and then you see that, oh yeah, it's not working, it's not working, it's not, then you need the motivation. You need a motivation where you come back again and do the stuff. Very well done, Ashutosh, Sagar, and then uh, Jay, TM Jay, what a speech. Means I enjoyed the way he talked about the things. Really perfect. Now, from the TTM perspective, I also enjoy because I need to actually work on the theme and it is about our TN Modi, Abhishek, who has taken us through all the sites which probably we might have forgotten over a period of time. So all the temples, I think I'll now go back and try to see that for where I can have a list of temples and then come prepared next time because I was not knowing that okay, the Siangat port is a Siangat port or uh, there was another one, I forgot the name, uh, so like that. So it's a very good a uh, session from Abhishek to take us through that what is travel in India means and we all love to travel we all love to travel and we all have our destination so today's theme the table topic theme will be on the travel and destination itself and I will actually I have five topics and I'll just ask from the offline and online mode for the people to come and Toastmasters to come and talk about 
their experience, their travel destination, and their travel related knowledge. So I'll also I'll take help from Toshmaster Tulsi to actually help me in terms of telling me that whether the speakers are on time or not. So now let me go through the table topics. Okay, so I'll okay. Be attentive. I'll just take one from offline or online. So it will be just round robin. I'll take I can yeah. Uh, sorry, your name? Mayuresh. Hi Mayuresh. You need to come here. You are a guest? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's okay. So you are You are the Toastmaster. Okay, good. So, your topic is importance of travel in India. Importance of travel. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hello. Am I audible and visible? Okay. Now I will request the timer to please count for twenty seconds until. Uh, I uh, prepare and then we can start. Importance of travel in India, right? Yeah, importance of travel in India. Just think about it. Take your time, pause. Huh? Yeah. Take your time, make it first time. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. I request timer to please start the time. In Marathi, there is a saying, Kelyane Deshatan, Yete Sabet Kelyane Deshatan, Yete Panditya, Maitri, and Shahanpan. That means when you travel around the world, you get the knowledge, the friendship of various people, and the wisdom. As for me, the traveling was very important because, because of my father's uh, frequent transfers, I have traveled all around Maharashtra. And in Maharashtra itself, I have noticed so much diversity of culture. Means one part of language, one part of Marathi language is different than other part of Marathi. Now, now here we also have very people from various backgrounds. Like uh, I think we have Chandra from uh, Vidarbha area. I'm I'm, I'm myself, myself is from Khandesh. And so even though we are very close together, still our languages are little different. And if you are if you are much familiar with uh, these things, then only you understand how, what are the nuances of these languages, what are the nuances of these uh, idioms. And just imagine if this much diversity is existing in only one state of India, how much diversity can there be all over India? India from north, north to south, it is around 3000 kilometers long. From east to west, west it is around also 3000 kilometers. So it is as, it is almost as big as uh, Europe, the continent of Europe, and it has uh, 23, 29 states. Their respective state languages and the, their diverse cultures as well. So, when we travel around around one part of India or all of, if uh, you are lucky and if you are possible, if it's possible to you if all over India, then you get to know your country from the ground ground level up. It is said that when our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he was just a, a common uh, activist, he, he he traveled all the length and breadth of India and got to know India firsthand. And that's why we can see that it is reflecting in his policy as well. But he was not the only one. There are a lot of saints in India, especially in Maharashtra. There are worker saints who travel to the north and get the first hand impression of what was going on there. The most famous example of these saints is Saint Namdev, who, who is famous in Maharashtra, but, but you will know him more because he has some verses written in Guru Granth Sahib of the Holy, uh, Guru Granth Sahib, the Holy Book of Sikhs. And in uh, uh, the new modern times, we have Swami Vivekananda. He also, he was also one of the avid globe plotter who came to many crossroads in India. So I think I have com completed the importance. That's it. And over to you, Devon Topic Master. Thank you. Thank you very much. What I speak. So he has said everything which probably we would be wanted to know in terms of what is the importance of travel in India. He has covered all the length and breadth of Maharashtra. Thank you very much. 
so my next topic is how to promote tourism in india okay okay so <laughs> i forgot that. sorry sorry so I'll, I'll i'll call the next speaker here get nilesh so i like to invite get nilesh on the stage okay so your topic is how to promote tourism in india what do you think Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nilesh. Uh, today I'm guest here, and I think this is uh, my third session I have attended. Uh, well, about this topic, thank you so much for providing this beautiful topic today. Uh, so, in order to promote the tourism in India, I believe in India we we want discounts, you know, and we are more looking forward for the discounts benefits for us. So, if we want to promote the tourism in India, maybe what we can do is we can give some kind of um, 50% discounts or coupons or vouchers to our Indian citizens so that they can plan something out because everybody around us are too busy in their personal lives, in their professional lives as well, that they are not thinking about the vacations. Uh, most of us are very serious about our studies, about our jobs. So I believe uh, if we can try to connect them with kind of any kind of vouchers or discounts or any kinds of other benefits, they will think about it, they will plan out something with their family and they will move around. I believe uh, like uh, everybody has some kind of uh, you know, personal interest. So like, like if, I, if I talk about myself, I love reading books. And uh, through the books, I travel around the world because there are no limitations. There are no boundaries if we read books. So I believe uh, there are a lot of things in the world which we can explore. Uh, like in last year, I've been to uh, USA as well. Uh, yesterday, I've been to Shirdi. I think some, someone from our team uh, said that they are from Popagao. So even I went there yesterday itself, I came from that because I, I uh, went to Shirdi. So every one or other week I'm traveling around the world uh, physically or through books. And I think it's amazing, amazing uh, like uh, experience. So I would encourage each one of us to, you know, participate in various programs, uh, travel around the world. And as far as uh, promotion is concerned, uh, like uh, we can help people uh, through the, uh, like, showing the benefits of it and maybe uh, giving some kind of uh, uh, benefits or discounts to the uh, vouchers. I think uh, that was it about it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Right. Discount is a very important thing in our life, right? Without discount, probably we can't go anywhere. If the discount is there, then probably we are there everywhere. What a good point. Discount is very important. Now, with that note, because we are short of time, I'll just uh, call upon the next speaker on this uh, point, Anish. Uh... Okay, your topic is my preferred mode of travel, train or bus or flight can you can add. Okay. Okay, uh, am I audible and visible to everyone? Can someone just, Chandra, can you confirm? Okay, so my topic is my favorite mode of travel, train, bus, or flight. Well, I, I think it keeps on changing. When you're a kid, you're, uh, you like some different things. When I was a kid, I used to like train travel. Why I used to like train travel? The feeling when you get inside the train, when everyone is traveling, when you are inside the train, when you have other fellow members, uh, other fellow kids around you who are on their summer break, and that excitement, it used to be just simply amazing. It, I used to be exuberated with all the big trains, then the rhythm of the train. Somehow I used to connect with that. But as and when I grew up, I realized that train is not really that feasible mode of transport because, you know, time is, has become more important now. So after that came in flights. So the best part for me about flights was that the quick mode of transport and the number of people you get to see. And Every time I have uh, taken a flight, I have uh, seen one or two people for whom it is the first time they are traveling. So that's what intrigues me, how they are, what they are feeling, through, how they are going about it. My, the first time I took the uh, airplane, I was so excited 
I was dancing. I was literally jumping inside the plane, and I was not a kid. I was an adult who was earning, and still I was jumping. So plane definitely did excite me. But to reiterate, as you grow up, the place you are in at your life, your mode of transport differs, and the liking towards mode of transport also differs. So that's about it. That's my perspective for mode of transport. Over to you, to table topic master. Okay. Oh, what a good thing! Um, I wish I also have that opportunity to jump in a flight. <laughs> so I'll just call another TM here. Uh, Priyanka, sorry. <laughs> so, you, okay. so your topic is what I like most about Pune. Where I should go if someone is new in Pune? Where you will send that person first? Oh, uh, okay. That is a actually a very good topic because my favorite place is Pune, and I've been living in Pune for past ten years. My name is Priyanka. and uh, i just love pune i have traveled to gujarat and to many places actually to gwalior mp and many places but i just love pune because the climate of pune is excellent and uh, the people are very good they are very supporting provided you are also supporting them <laughs> obviously but uh, otherwise the people are very supporting the climate is very good and uh, the food here i just love the food i don't know why but vada pav and you know all those things it has become my favorite since i have come to pune and it's been uh, almost 10 years and i don't want to get out of here i don't know <laughs> why and uh, i think mumbai is also the same some part of it but i think pune is still the best and it's a metropolitan city and uh, obviously many students come over here for studying and college purpose and everything so that is why i think that it has it is you know one of the best place to visit and uh, obviously on top of that the monuments and everything in pune makes it a little bit more uh, on the top and uh, this is the first time i'm speaking uh, in front of anyone i have never spoken in front of anybody in my entire future i've always been you know in the box <laughs> like and so it's really great experience to speak in front of you guys thank you so much thanks so much Thank you, Priyanka. So, as someone says that there is always a first time, but then this is the start of the journey, and you will. I, I hope you will continue on the right path as we move move forward. So, what a day! And with that note, I th I thank all the speakers, and I'll pass my uh, uh, mic back to T M O D Abhishek. Thank you, Abhishek. Thank you so much for such a wonderful session, and we got to know a lot uh, about it. Uh, about the experience of different people so now let's move on to the next session that is the general evaluator to uh, give us our report how well we have done in this meeting and how we can improve so let us call our general evaluator those master chandra sekar uh, and we will call rest of the members so over to you thank you so much toast master of the day toast master abhishek now as we say feedback is the breakfast of champion now our champion speaker have given their speeches and it's time for the seasoned toast masters to give them feedback So I would like to call upon on the stage our first evaluator, Toastmaster Pradeep, to evaluate the first speech given by Toastmaster Sagar. So let us welcome Toastmaster Pradeep with a big round of applause. Yeah, join audience, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so first of all, I want to congratulate uh, Toastmaster Sagar. He has just finished his icebreaker speech. Because see, why this icebreaker speech is important? Because you have some type of like social phobia in front of some person will be some gathering will be there. How they are going to communicate? So that's why it is known as an icebreaker speech. So first thing what I like most from the Toastmaster Sagar, he was very confident, and whatever he has spelled, it was crystal clear, and everything it was like clearly audible by everyone. so that was the first thing and apart from that the second thing i can say he was more confident whether while he was sit in the sitting position but it shows he was more confident while speaking and third place i can say that third thing i can say that he has clearly explained the meaning of his name sagar so that was there and he has he, be, he belongs to the very holy place like cd the sai baba temple place so that is also he has explained however he has told the, the place name his village name 
that was very good but he has told that like what was the famous name just at the same to that that was all connected each other everybody has got connected because in the entire india that cd is very famous so coming to that he has uh, like he has started his first career from tata motors in pimpri area only so he has worked in the like uh, maintenance department so as a mechanical or as a chemical in engineer is somebody is working in like maintenance department definitely in the starting even i also come from the mechanical background when i, I joined a new company almost 10 years ago i was also having the same feeling why i have joined why i have done this mechanical engineering because you have to go and you have to work on different machines and you have to go with different people and in mechanical industry always you will find so many difficulties it's not not like an it industry because there we can sit there and you can do all this coding and all other things and whatever that uh, toastmaster sagar has told in similar way i was also thinking why i choose in mechanical engineering i should get for something like transition i have to go to some it field like that so similar situation was there however uh, he has taken a good decision in like uh, starting itself and he has gone for like some courses and uh, presently is working in oracle that that was a very good topic and apart from that i can say that there is a call to action for like mechanical industries or any like manufacturing industry there why i am just talking about a study incidents one of my company colleague he has just in 2020 he has passed btech in mechanical engineering he was working and he has also gone through similar like <coughs> like uh, training and he has gone to similar like oracle only and here he was just getting almost uh, 12 or 13000 can you imagine within just a one year he has gone to 5 lakh package so this is the call to action for all the mechanical industries so however it was a good uh, a start and uh, i would like to see some more speeches from toastmaster sagar over to you general evaluator thank you so much toastmaster pradeep for giving feedback to our first speaker now i would like to call upon the stage our second evaluator toastmaster kunal to evaluate the speech given by toastmaster ashutosh over to you toastmaster kunal am i audible yes you are audible thanks and good morning madam president toast fellow toastmasters and my dear guest so congrats ashutosh for such a wonderful speech it was really amazing the title that you have selected it was very well aligned with the speech that you gave uh, you also kept us engaging and overall you maintained the continuity of the speech while opening of the speech you discussed how you heard so many times that by reading novels and good books one can change his life by by reading these books will they will get the various aspects of life how to become successful various view points during the body of the speech you covered very well uh, the, some of the real life examples which you shared from your life you started with uh, buying a novel of wings of fire to try to read the book but you were hardly able to manage five pages but how from being non non persistent to persistent change the way you started reading on daily basis and you reached half way through the second example that you gave no just okay the second like how you bought a subscription of a gym where you bought the subscription for an year but you hardly went for 30 days then you started going gym on daily basis in last two week and you changed mentally physically and you started being confident the third example that you gave i really liked the way you wanted to learn something new on bb bba for you on excel you started learning but you were not able to continue on it but after being persistent you were able to complete 40 plus chapters out of 50 that was really awesome to take your speech to next level i would really suggest few things where i can say um, this was a prepared speech and you, i would recommend to do more practice you were very confident but if you do more practice it will really take you to next level the second thing is you talked about uh, you should also have more vocal variety and voice modulation where whatever the positive changes that you 
but in your life you can stress more on that note to summarize it was really a wonderful speech and i hope if whatever suggestion i recommended if you take you will take your speech to the next level thank you and over to you prof master thank you so much prof master kunal now i would like to request our third evaluator toastmaster venkatesh to evaluate toastmaster jay speech over to you toastmaster venkatesh thank you general evaluator toastmaster toastmaster uh, chandrashekar when life puts you in a tough situation don't say why me say try me and i could able to witness that from Toastmaster Jai speech today. You said you are a born leader in a deep forest of Sonipat. You tried to introduce your place of birth. You are hailing from. Then you told the audience how you cracked the entrance test. How you cleared the entrance test for the diploma engineering. How you graduated. You had a double graduation. how you did the additional certification courses to qualify for the corporate round you introduce your immediate family and at the same time you introduce yourself to the club which completely says that you met the objective of your speech that is ice breaker and introducing yourself to the club now having said that to introduce your skills you also try to make the speech quite humorous as you said you had also said that papa why me always so the voice modulation also you could able to try in your speech which put a lot of impact on the audience now with this i would like to say that your speech was all together which is very much humorous you try to iterate the keyword that is the title why me several time in the speech which is a good way to say or utilize your title in between the speech to make it more effective and the voice modulation it is not advice to give any recommendation to the ice breaker but since you are a very senior member and you have delivered most of the speeches you have completed most of the pathways i think this is fourth or fifth pathways i have a minor recommendation to you that you could have used the entire stage that is moving around while delivering your speech rather than just moving at light, right and left you have ample of space at your place so you can try to utilize that space in your next speech which will help you to take your speech to the next level but at the same time the speech was a really amazing you utilize the humor you added the humor in your speech you added the repetition reiteration of your title there was a voice modulation in your speech all together i would say it was a great speech thank you over to you general evaluator thank you thank you so much toast master venkatesh now i would like to ask the timer whether all the speakers table topic speakers and evaluators are qualified yes all the speakers as well as evaluators are qualified thank you so much now i would like to call upon the stage our our counter of today's meeting toastmaster snehal over to you toastmaster snehal oh uh, hello hi everyone uh so let me share my screen uh is it visible to all yeah toastmaster snehal we can see the screen yes uh yes so we had uh four speeches today uh so along with that means uh we 
So Ashutosh took R uh, as uh, three times and unnecessary, unnecessary pauses one time. Then J took unnecessary pause one time. And uh, about Aditya uh, DTM, he took uh, two times. So that is about the speeches. Uh, about the evaluators, uh, Pratip took uh, two times and Kunal took and two times. So our table topic uh, uh, speakers uh, was Mayuresh, Nilesh, Anish, and Priyanka. So Mayuresh took and two times and uh, three times. About the role players. Uh, so Tulsi just took uh, one time. So that is about the uh, uh, report card. And the flawless uh, speaker in the meeting was Abhishek. So a big round of applause for Abhishek. And uh, what do you Toastmaster of the day? That is, that's it from my uh, side. Thank you so much Toastmaster Snehal. Now I would like to hand over the stage to our grammarian to share his report. Over to you, Toastmaster Anish. Thank you, Toastmaster Chandra. So, a wonderful meeting, a good, a good meeting in terms of language usage. I was trying hard to find a few mistakes here and there, but I didn't find many mistakes. Firstly, I'll start off with some very good usage of grammar. So, the, these uh, couple of examples are somewhat common, but it's good to hear that in conversation. So, the first example of good usage was, I was stunned. So uh, the meaning of stand is being uh, shocked or being surprised. So uh, usually this can be used in certain extreme situations and uh, it was used uh, really well in and in the right context today. Then another good usage was uh, not, not my cup of tea. Again, this is somewhat common, but it is very good to hear this in uh, basic conversations. So kudos to the speakers for using it. Then some not so good usage of English was uh, tense issues, uh, which uh, was someone used where uh, I win, uh, whereas it should have been where I won. Then someone used uh, in IT, uh, I work in IT, uh, I work in a IT. It should have been I work in an IT. And uh, another one was it, uh, it has two weeks. It has been two weeks is the correct usage. Apart from that, uh, I did not note any uh, abnormal or bad usage of English. Uh, the word of the day and phrase of the day were, you, uh, were attempted by Toastmaster Prasanjit and Toastmaster Pradeep, Pradeep as well as Toastmaster Tulsi. So kudos to everyone. Uh, remember the word of the day and phrase of the day and you can use it wherever possible in your in future. Over to you, General Little. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Anish, for presenting the crisp report of the grammarian. And I hope sure whenever we are traveling, we need to be a globe totter to collect some words as it is. So I always try to attend different clubs meeting just to collect some good words. Thank you so much for that. So let me begin my evaluation as a general evaluator, starting with the first role player, which is our sergeant at arm. So we started the meeting almost bang on time. So kudos to you on that, our sergeant at arm, Toastmaster Akshay started with a good note. He explained where all the roles, all the rules. And apart from that, he also explained about the mission statement of Toastmaster Club. Mission statement is really, really important. And he read it very carefully. Apart from that, he introduced the guest as well. So kudos to you on that part. Just one recommendation is that I felt like the energy was a bit low. So the energy of Sergeant at Arm should be really, really high. That's what I believe. But overall, he did a really great job as a Sergeant at Arm. Coming to our second role player, which is the timer of today's meeting, Toastmaster Tulsi. I was keenly observing the transition of timer cards and she was bang on time for each and every timer uh, when the speaker was speaking or beat the evaluator. So as a timer, she did a really great job highlight. While we were highlighting the stuff, she was showing the virtual background instead of the presentation, which is always recommended. 
so she did really great job as a timer i do not have any recommendation as a timer but maybe you can put the timings in the chat if you are not telling it so the speaker's timing and the evaluator's timing you can put in the chat that will be an additional point but apart from that she did a really great job as a timer kudos to her coming to our third role player which is the our counter of today's meeting toast master snehal she explained her role really beautifully and told what are the words and the sounds that we use in general which are sound as a crutch or filler words and at the later end of the meeting she presented the report in an excel format she also told who were the flawless speaker of today's meeting and showed us the exact uses of the filler words and filler sound and if someone is having the count above 5 the recommendation is that we don't say above 5 we say that more than 5 or greater than 5 not the exact number so she did a really good job on that part one small recommendation is that instead of just counting the filler words and filler sound we can note down the filler phrases that has been used by the speaker example could be the words actually basically you know like these are also part of the filler sound so if you can challenge yourself to count these as well in the next time that would be a really additional part but overall she did a really great job as an art hunter kudos to her can we have a big round of applause for her as well coming to our grammarian toastmaster anish who took the role on the 11th hour i would say as our grammarian backed out because of some issues so he did a really great job as a grammarian the word of the day and the phrase of the day was related to the theme though they were more challenging but i felt like we all can use it so the word of the day and the phrase of the day was easy to use he published it in the group as well prior to the meeting so that we will be aware of it and we will be using it in the meeting and most of us tried to use it and i would recommend each and everyone to use it later he also told about the good usage and not so good usage of english language and also told who were the speakers who use the word of the day and the phrase of the day so kudos to you on that part i believe he just missed on one point like whenever someone uses the word of the day and the phrase of the day we can show thumbs up virtually or even in the physical meeting so i believe when speaker were using word of the day and the phrase of the day we need to show a thumbs up or maybe just small clap that to react throughout the speech so if he can iterate in his speech or in his introduction that would be an additional point but as a grammarian he did a really amazing job kudos to him can we have a big round of applause for him as well coming to our fourth role player which is our table topic master and what an amazing questions or what an amazing speeches uh, we witnessed today he was energetic he was giving all the crux of each and every speech the topics were related to the theme and he also shared his own story so he did a really well job on the table topic master as we were short on time he also realized that and he concluded the theme and the table topic session with just four speeches so keeping timing on his mind so that was a really great job as a table topic master i don't have any certain recommendation for to table topic master he was having a good energy and he was really supportive of the speaker so really great job as a table topic master kudos to toast master prasenj <laughs> now coming to the most important role players those are the evaluators so there were three evaluators toast master pradeep toast master kunal and toast master venkatesh so starting with toast master pradeep he was evaluating the speech of an ice breaker he told about what are the good things in the speech and how it is helpful for each and every one he told about that the speaker's speech and his body language and all the aspect of the speech so really great job as an evaluator in uh, ice breaker speech we don't try to give the recommendation so he followed the same approach and he did a really well job on that part one small recommendation is that when we say how did the speaker did this or like what was good in it so how it is helpful for the other listener that you can tell for example if he is saying the speaker was really confident and because of the confidence we can hear and understand the speech very well and that is helpful for each and every one we can take that point as a key so that he can tell us in the speech but overall a really great evaluation coming to our second evaluator toast master kunal he evaluated toast master ashutosh speech he also evaluated in the way that toast master is recommended crc basically commendation recommendation and again if you want to give commendation or challenges so he told about the good things in the speech the overall structure opening body and conclusion that was really great and he gave two specific feedback one is to practice more and second is to provide the voice modulation now uh, one thing that was missing was the speech objective so if he can take it before the speech that would have been really better because in the previous speech also the same feedback was given to the speaker to introduce the voice modulation 
and uh, to apply it in the speech. So whether the speaker has applied it or not, that you could have mentioned. But overall, a really great evaluation. Kudos to you also. I don't have any other recommendation from that part. Coming to our third evaluator, Toastmaster Venkatesh. He was also introducing, uh, sorry, evaluating the speech of Toastmaster Jay, which was an icebreaker speech. And because Toastmaster Jay is a seasoned Toastmaster, he gave some certain recommendation and the approach was CRC. So I don't have any recommendation for our evaluators. So kudos to all three evaluators. Coming to the main role player, which is our Toastmaster of the day. The theme was really amazing. You started with a really good note. The energy was really high. Then you started with the trivia. And we were all intrigued. Are, which place is this? Do I know this place? Have I visited this place? Oh, it is in Pune only. So that was a really amazing take. You managed the meeting really well. Though we extended a bit on the timing part, but you were able to handle the meeting timing as well. You reduced the break timing as well. And you were having conversation with me along the time just to be in sync with the agenda. So as a Toastmaster of the day, he's did really an amazing job. I don't have any recommendation for him. Can we have a big round of applause for Toastmaster of the day? So these were all about the role players. I have certain generic feedback for all the XCOM and the members as well. The first one, as we saw that our first speaker just spoke for three minutes and 30 seconds. So as a VP8, we need to ensure that whether he, the speech has been prepared really well, we can get in touch with the mentors. If we have assigned the mentor or not, that we need to make sure so that the mentor can see whether the speech timing was fulfilling or not. Because it was the first speech, we want at least speaker to speak for four minutes minimum. So that we can note down whether the mentor has been assigned or not, and if they have been instructed properly or not. But overall, it was a really great speech. Second thing, as we are moving to the hybrid setup, we need to ensure that the board is completely filled. So there should be the meeting theme written, the role players name written, the speakers and evaluators name should be written on the thing. We missed out on that today, but we need to make sure that we do it the next time so that this should be a proper flow just as a physical meeting. Overall, I see a good count over here in the meeting and I wish each and everyone to come to the meeting in the physical location. As we are going hybrid, I want to see the count going about 20, 25, so that I would feel like I'm actually attending a meeting. And overall, the energy in the room was really great. I really enjoyed the meeting, though we are slightly uh, more, I believe, against the time, not sure the against the word, I think behind the time we are already pretty much late. So I would request each and everyone if we can allow to extend the meeting timing for 10 minutes. So can I see a raise of hand if everyone is okay? in online also. Okay, so everyone has given me a raise of hand. So I think we can increase the timing by five or 10 minutes as it is required. But overall, the meeting was really great. And I enjoyed the meeting. Just if we can apply this certain feedback from the next time onwards, we will be having a rocking hybrid meeting. Though I believe today's meeting was up to the mark for first hybrid meeting as we had all the setup things. But we can still go to the next level as there is a saying in the Toastmaster, good is the enemy of great. So if you want to become great, we have to go certain level beyond the good. With that quote, I would like to hand over the stage to our presiding officer, DTM Minal. Can we have a big round of applause for DTM Minal? Thanks, General Evaluator Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar. And as we saw that our grammarian took up the role at the last moment, our General Evaluator also took up the role even at the last of the last moment, I would say, because he took up the role just an hour before our meeting. And so kudos to our General Evaluator for that. Now, uh, before I begin with my closing remarks, can we have the polling for uh, all the role players today. First, first will be for the best speaker. We will have it here in the offline mode as well and you people can vote online as well. Online, we had it for best speaker now. Uh, we will be moving towards services. Uh, then offline people will have their polling. We had it for the best speaker. Just... 
Okay. Now let's have it for the best evaluator. That will be in role plays. Now you can check who are the people. Now we'll have it for the best role play. Best role play, there'll be three, na? TMOD, GE, and uh, TTM. Yeah. We have both and under one screen. Best auxiliary role player and the best role player. I guess one is left now, best table topic speaker. Hmm. Best ever topic online, it was just put up. The sergeant at arms has really got the work now. <laughs> Count the votes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Till the, I guess everyone has voted out in the online mode, in the offline mode, it's already on. Can you people hear me in the online mode? Please confirm. Yes. Okay. Now, till the time we have the results ready, I would like to say that uh, today's meeting was like Pinde Pinde Matir Binna, which means at every stage the language changes, the thought process changes, but still we are all one. That's the speciality of India and that's the speciality of Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest as well. Because we all know that every one of us carries a different thought process out here, but still we are under one roof. Here it's a combination of the virtual roof as well as the actual roof, I would say. And it was indeed a great meeting wherein our Toastmaster of the day took us to firstly Pune and then the entire India. And as our general evaluator said, he started with the trivia, so that raised the curiosity right from the beginning. And Along these lines, now today, the basic purpose behind having the educational session by someone as distinguished as our future division director, DTM Aditya, was that XCOM roles are very, very important. Being an executive committee, the meaning itself is self-explanatory. So you have to govern the entire club in, with your respective roles. And if you do it sincerely, if you do it with all your dedication, of course, that is always a first time as uh, our table topping master had said, but we have to start it somewhere. And therein, you get the results if you work hard. And if you have been following our official group regularly, you might have seen the accolades that we got yesterday at Eloquence. In all, we had got 13 awards and one amongst them was the Diamond Club Award. And I had said this over the group and I'll repeat it that out of 236 active clubs in district 98, only 15 clubs, one five, 15 clubs could be recognized as a diamond club for the diamond club award and ours was one of it. So that shows the rich legacy that Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest carries. And I would request the other members, the fellow Toastmasters, and even some of the people from the existing XCOM to be actively involved in our next six months. That is from July 2022 to December 2022. That would be because our term as XCOM would be coming to an end on 30th June 2022, but that is not the end for the club. We The only difference is that we would be just there to take a step backward and look upon you, to guide you. And you all have to file your nominations now for whichever role you're comfortable with in the XCOM. 
and let me announce this on an official note that we have the next two weeks to nominate ourselves and accordingly the interviews would be conducted there would be three people as the election chair me as the president our ipb uh, toastmaster swati and our veteran toastmaster toastmaster j so all three of us would be there as interviewers you have to nominate yourself for the roles that you are comfortable with and formal elections and the announcement of the next ex form would happen two weeks later that is on 29th of may 2022 and the next one month that is till 30th june would be spent in a successful handover of the roles so that those who take the charge from july first week would not be uh, in the oblivion or would not be lost somewhere and even if that happens we are there to guide you so no one is going to leave you in a lurch we are not going to leave you alone we all are there together because we are working towards a common goal and that is uplifting toastmasters club of pune northwest so this was the formal announcement from my side and today i'm happy to announce one more thing that today we had a double digit attendance in the offline mode today that was really great even in the online mode i could see uh, around 14 to 15 people i guess attending so overall uh, attendance was 25 to 26 kudos for that and i hope to have more members in both the modes i would say more in the offline mode but even if in the online mode we are fine with it we want toastmasters by any means be it in any mode we just want them and now if we have the results ready okay so Till we have the results ready, I would like to harp again on the same point that the platform, the stage over here is for you, by you and of you. Without you, it's nothing. If you are there, it's there. If you are not there, nothing is there. And even the XCOM committee won't function if members are not active. Because as XCOM committee, even I have been on the driver's seat as well as on the driving seat, all of us who are a part of XCOM here. So if we don't have an active participation from the members, we won't stand a chance anywhere. So even if we are representing the club, it's we are just the front end of the club, I would say. The back office actually does the work entirely. And that's all the members who are saying. So honestly speaking, people, when we roll out the message that role uh, availability for the next meeting, and the moment we start getting people's responses, I'll take this role, I'll take that, the happiness that we express at that time is actually unexplainable from our end. So try to be active in the same way and try to fill the roles max by Wednesday so that the next three days we can plan our things, be it any role. If you're stuck up in any of the roles, there are mentors for every role. So you can ask them, you can get in touch with us. Because what happens is if we take the roles at the last moment, then even we jumble. And the person who is the Toastmaster of the day or the general evaluator also gets jumbled at exactly who is taking which role. So let's avoid that and let's be proactive regarding taking our roles. Now, just stand by. We will uh, be there with the moments of the glory in a minute or two. Why Anish can't? Why not Anish? Okay. So let's start with the best table topic speaker for the day. And it's our guest Nilesh. Best table topic speaker for the day. You can come forward. Now let's come to 
best evaluator and that goes to our online member that is toastmaster venkatesh we will have the digital certificate rolled out soon thank you dikya now coming to the best speaker it's i would say it's our experienced ice breaker that is toastmaster jay now coming to the best role player of the day that comes to our toastmaster of the day toastmaster abhishek and coming to the best auxiliary role player as well as our savior it goes to our grammarian toastmaster anish come okay well that was from my side and before we officially end the meeting i would like to transfer the control to okay before even doing that uh, let me ask everyone to switch their camera on so that we can have a group photo this okay venkatesh can you click the photo yeah sure i Thanks. think some of the members are still offline anyway you you guys can come together from the room once you are done yes. let me know uh, toastmaster mayur or toastmaster chandrashekar okay. yeah yeah we all are set so once you come together once you are ready uh, just do let I'm me know I'm 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 not visible. Am I visible yeah. now? Uh, yeah, now yeah. you are visible. Done. Done. okay now i would like to transfer the control for to to the toastmaster of the day toastmaster abhishek to officially adjourn the meeting and see you all next week sayonara thank you so much everyone and thank you so much for uh, such a wonderful meeting and today although we have ended this journey then but in the next week we will definitely continue with a new journey with a new destination and new experience and story with that i would like to officially end the meeting thank you so so much Thank you.